giants like TCS, Infosys, and Accenture hire full stack developers in large numbers. India's largest IT firm TCS has said that the process to recruit freshers for the financial year 24 to 25 had started and it started visiting campuses in March. Infosys, one of the India's most iconic IT companies, have a dedicated team of full stack developers who work on projects for clients worldwide. It invests heavily in training and development, ensuring that their developers are equipped with the latest skills and technologies to deliver top notch solutions. Many reports have mentioned that the demand for full stack developers in India has increased by 40% in 2024 because companies save up, up to 30% in development costs by hiring full stack developers who can manage the entire project from start to finish. Also, a recent survey shows that 55% of companies prefer full stack developers for their versatility and ability to handle various tasks. So if you are also looking to make a career in full stack development, watch this video till the end to learn how can you make a career in this booming in this video, I will discuss who is a full stack developer, what are the different responsibilities of a full stack developer, how to upskill yourself as a full stack developer, which full stack development projects can help you build an impressive portfolio, which companies are hiring for full stack developer job roles, what is the salary range from starting level to mid level for the full stack developer in India. Let's start the video by understanding who is a full stack developer. Simply put, a full stack developer has the skills to work on all parts of a website or an app. Let's understand this in detail. A website is divided into two main parts, the front end and the back end. The front end is the user side that you see and scroll through when you visit a website or a blog to get information, buy products or services. It includes all the text, images and graphics that make the website look good and function smoothly. For example, for example, when you open the internship like website, open karte ho, you see the job listing, course details, internship listing pages in your search bar. This is all part of the front end. Then there is the back end, which you do not see. This part includes the database and the server that power the website, ensuring everything runs smoothly. For example, when you apply for a job through Internshala or sign up for a course, the information you fill is stored in the back end of the website. A full stack developer is someone who can work on both front end and the back end of a website or an application. If you want to know more about how to start a career as a full stack developer, then you can watch our in depth video on full stack developer roadmap here. The link is in the description box. Now let's talk about the role and the responsibilities of a full stack developer. This will not only help you decide if this field is right for you, but also help you choose a specialization in a specific area. So let's explore some of the popular job responsibilities of a full stack developer. First, a full stack developer works on developing the front end of website. This means they create the parts of the website that you see and interact with. For example, when you visit Internshala, all the text, images and buttons you see are the part of the front end. It's like decorating the website or application to make it more user friendly. For this, full stack developer use front end languages like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Next, they create and manage database. Database are where all the important information is stored. On Internshala, this would include user profiles, job postings and application. Here on the screen are some of the database management systems that full stack developers use to manage the database. Another key responsibility of a full stack developer is designing user interaction. This involves making sure that when you click a button or fill out a form, it responds correctly and quickly. For example, imagine that you are Amazon pe shopping on Amazon and you decide to buy a book. When you click on the buy now button, the site quickly processes your request by confirming your order and also sends you a confirmation email. This smooth user journey is coded by full stack developer. Does this ever happen to you that you are planning to visit a new city? and you look for the prices of flight on your phone but then later you book the flight through your laptop. Now did you notice that you were able to open the flight booking website on your phone as well on your laptop and the features more or less remain the same. How is it possible when your phone and laptop are two different devices? Well, this is another responsibility of a full stack developer. They ensure that different websites or apps work smoothly on all the devices, be it laptop, mobile or tablet. The text and images that are according to the size of the screen you are using, which makes it easy to use. Additionally, full stack developers also implement APIs and RESTful services. Now, what are these complex sounding things? Don't worry, it's very easy. 
these are basically tools that let different part of website communicate with each other. For example, when you place an order on Amazon, it sends that order details to the seller so that you can get your product timely. Finally, full stack developer find and fix any error or bug in the website. They make sure that all the features work as expected and the site runs smoothly. For example, if someone reports that the add to cart button is not working on Amazon, the full stack developer will investigate and fix the issue, ensuring it works for all the users. So based on these different responsibilities, you can choose an area of full stack development that really sparks your interest. Once you have chosen your area of interest, the next step is to build expertise in that specific field. But you might be thinking, how do I do that? Well, it's very simple. You can enroll to full stack development courses to learn the latest skills. And Intonshala offers one of the best full stack development courses. This course covers the latest technologies and frameworks in full stack development. Plus, it provides project based learning, which means you will learn new skills and get opportunity to apply them in real life situations. For example, do you know how to build a clone for YouTube? Well, we will teach you how to do that in this course. Best of all, this course comes with a placement guarantee that ensure that you land a job or an internship after completing the course. If you want to know more details about this course, then you can check out the link in the description box below. Once you have upskilled, it's time to work on some project. Why? Because this will help you build a strong portfolio that recruiters will like. Here are some projects to, that you can include in your portfolio. If you're searching for more web development project ideas to make your resume stand out, then you can check out our blog in the description box below. Now that you have got an awesome portfolio, it's time to start job hunting. Wondering which companies to start applying at? We have got you covered. Right here on the screen, you will see a list of top companies looking for full stack developers. You can pause the screen and take a screenshot for your reference. These companies are known for their wonderful work environment. They also offer some amazing opportunities for career growth in full stack development. I know what you are thinking, what about the salaries? Well, there is no need to spend hours searching on Google because I have got the list right here. So without any delay, let's check out the average salary range for entry level to mid level full stack developer in different areas of web development. And with that, we come to the end of the video. Remember, becoming a successful full stack developer requires continuous learning and hands on practice. This field is always growing and changing. So it is important to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies. If you have any questions, or need further guidance, please drop a comment below. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such content. All the best.